Our first stop is the Refugio Caraguana. It's located very close to the Cerro Caraguana trailhead. Actually, there's a dirt road that you follow up and then you can take the trailhead over. This place looks like a camp from your childhood. It's really sweet with all the cabins lining the property. There are 16 cabins and the family that owns the property is very sweet. Samir and Navdi, I'm probably not pronouncing their names correctly. Samir's mother is the one who painted all of these paintings. So when you're in the breakfast area, there are just probably hundreds of her paintings. And in some of the rooms, you can also find her paintings. I just think it's amazing and what a wonderful way to honor a parent. A nice perk about booking directly through the hotel is that breakfast will be included but you can also book on booking.com and Airbnb. There's quite a variety of spaciousness and accommodation. As you can see, this one has an upstairs loft. Some of the cabins are smaller and they're offered at a more economical rate. All of the cabins will be getting their own air conditioning units. All the showers have hot water. There is good Wi-Fi on the property, lovely artwork on the walls, hammocks to relax in, and some of the cabins are pet friendly. This is the resident cat. They do allow smoking on the property, but not in the rooms. They can coordinate tours for you, and because it's such a big property, you can book the whole place for family reunion or weddings, other kind of events. Um, also, if you want to just have an event on the property, they can arrange to coordinate that as well. Navdi has done a lot, maybe most, of the planting on her own. Of course, they do have someone maintaining the grounds, but I just think it's amazing that she's planted so much. They do compost and they do take things to the recycling center in El Valle. And they are going to be getting a certified uh, certification from Meet Us for agro-tourism. So they're gonna be adding some animals to the property, um, a pond, so you can talk to them about that. This is one of the larger cabins and it has a nice overlook over the property. It's just a one bedroom, but it's a one bedroom and a two bath and there's a, a kitchen in there. So that's nice to be able to prepare some meals if you're gonna be there for a longer stay. And they will offer some room service, of course, you know, ask ahead of time if you know that you might be wanting something in your room after restaurant hours, but they're on the property and they seem very helpful and accommodating. So I'm sure that you could arrange something. The family is originally from Venezuela and they moved to Panama, settled in Panama City and then just got a little too stressed out in Panama City. So they came out to El Valle and started construction on this property a little bit before the pandemic and the quarantine. So they really had to finish construction basically after the quarantine. So the property is pretty new. I mean, it's pretty new construction. I do notice that there are ramps so I don't know if the whole property is wheelchair accessible, but there are some ramps on the property. So book directly through WhatsApp and your breakfast will be included. <laughs> Next up, we're off to the neighborhood of Gaital, very close to downtown, and you would have no idea that you're so close to downtown at Casa de Pietra. 
I chatted with Alfredo, met his father Luis and their dog Max, and you really feel like you're in a mountain getaway. So my name is Alfredo Chavarria. Uh, we are here at Casa di Pietra. Uh, this is our family business. We've been um, having guests since 2010. Uh, the house was built in 2000, started building in 2007, finished the main part in 2009, and then my dad made some upgrades into 2011. That's pretty much when all everything was completed. Um, we have six rooms. They are different. They are. They have the same amenities, but they are. Some of them are a little bigger. Some of them are a little smaller. Some have a big, big balcony. Some have like a smaller balcony or a shared balcony. Um, we have uh, breakfast for all our guests. That's included. And we have Wi-Fi, hot water, uh, parking, parking area. So we we have all of that. And we are basically just a you know for families, friends, uh, couples. That's mainly the, uh, the target audience. What do people really enjoy about staying here? I think I would say three main things. One is our location. Our location is fairly private, but at the same time, it's really close to the main road of El Valle. And there's also the, the green area, the green space that we have. We try to keep all, all the trees, all the vegetation, uh, as possible and we also the the third thing I would say is probably that it's very relaxing it's very peaceful um, and that also is something that guests really enjoy they enjoy that privacy and at the same time that that tranquility mm -hmm. um, where do you find most of your guests visit from maybe a couple of years ago it was I would say like 75% it was uh, foreigners, people not living in Panama, people from Europe, the US, Canada, um, and then 25% it was Panamanians. Uh, for a while it was more Panamanians or people who live in Panama uh, and less uh, people from other countries. And now it has shifted. It, it's always shifting because when it's uh, winter, uh, in the US, and Canada and Europe, people come over to Panama to stay. So th that happens at the end of uh, the year and at the start of the year. And then it kind of like goes down a little bit and we have more of a mixture. We have like more local uh, Panama residents basically living, uh, visiting. What's the best way for people to make a reservation here? So we have we have, of course, a phone number, which people can reach us uh, directly for, you know, like a, a, through WhatsApp or, you know, a phone call. We also have email. We have Airbnb. We have uh, Instagram and Facebook as well. Those are the, the main ones. And are you pet friendly here? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. We've had dogs, cats, <laughs> fish, and even a famous uh, pigeon as well. He was a rescued pigeon. Oh, that's funny. What do guests tell you that some of their, what are some of their favorite things to do while they visit El Valle? Uh, they really like the hikes. I would say that's one of the main attractions, the hikes, the bird watching. They really enjoy, they actually enjoy from some of the, of our rooms, they enjoy seeing the birds, sometimes other animals as well. But uh, I would say those are the main attractions. People also like the, the El Valle, is not for like as much as like partying it's more for relaxing and and coming and, and being like at peace and everything so people like that for sure uh but i would say definitely the hikes are probably one of the main reasons people visit and another artist alfredo's mom did a lot of the paintings that you can find in the different rooms in casa de pietra one thing to note is that the website is not updated, so it's best to contact Alfredo directly or through the Instagram or Airbnb. If you're looking for simple rustic treehouse accommodations close to town, I would say you found your spot.
I had planned to video another place, but we got this lovely rain now that we're transitioning into rainy season. Also, keep in mind, I have Soul Wisdom Treasure Quest retreats, personal one-on-one -on -one retreats. This volcanic crater is the perfect setting when you want to take a deep dive into your personal growth with some creative guidance and all this abundant nature.